Hi, in this video I just want to make a short commemorations uh, on Jim Morrison and to discuss something which is not that widely known. It's not a secret or is anything sort of hard to find about but just not something that is brought up. And um, just to start with something, um, I remember when we in school had a topic for the 60s, 70s, 80s uh, we had a theme, you know, about the culture, the politics, the history of those decades um, and that was in the late 90s. So our teacher showed us the very bad and historically incorrect uh, film by Oliver Stone uh, about the doors. Um, yeah, if you read the biographies and especially Ray Manzarek's autobiography, there are many mistakes in that film. However, it still introduced a lot of people to uh, to the band. For me, I was one of them because when I heard that bossa nova rock intro to break on through, it was so raw and hypnotic. And then the words, you know, you know, the day destroyed the night, the night divides the day, try to run, try to hide break on through to the other side and all the other sort of bits and pieces of music from that film just stuck with me the whole day I went straight to the library uh, borrowed the CD uh, this was the age before yeah the modern music age online basically and I listened to it so much and it really opened up um, a new chapter for me just like the band name says the doors it was uh, they opened up many doors for me because uh, I was so into the band. I read all the books I could find, the autobiographies, um, and, re and really tried to sort of get as much info as possible and also about what inspired them, their music, writers, uh, the music and the writers who inspired them and so on. So it opened up many doors for me. It was never a kind of an end station. Uh, it was just a sort of slingshot to further um, exploration in music and arts and so on so um, that's what I owe to The Doors uh, as a band and Jim Morrison, Ray Manzarek, Robbie Krieger and John Densmore and the people involved uh, and um, I, I don't listen to their music you know for I mean over a decade now it's not something I listen to regularly but I get back to it sometimes um, you know, on mystical evenings, end of the night, Indian summer, uh, crystal ship and all those songs. So I, I get back to it and I did that recently and I also read up on, um, just sort of searched around uh, about Jim Morrison and his father, we all know was an admiral in the Navy. Uh, his name was uh, George uh, Stephen Morrison or Steve, I think the nickname would be he was an admiral and um, you know it's kind of interesting because Jim Morrison was very estranged uh, from his family especially his father they had lots of problems and you know issues with the sort of cultural schism that was going on that in those times so the last time he saw his father was um, when he was visiting him him on his ship the USS uh, Bonhomme uh, Richards, I think it was called, Bonhomme Richard, and um, oh, this is so bright. Let's turn this down a bit. The screen, Bonhomme uh, Richard. Uh, so his mother forced him to uh, get a haircut. He did reluctantly, but on the ship, his father forced him to even cut cut it more. So he really sort of, uh, yeah was discussed I guess and with all the problems they had they sort of yeah they never saw one another again that was the last time they saw each other however you know even though Jim Morrison was this sort of uh, super explicit uh, you know character of those those times basically uh, his father was also kind of true to himself in another way uh, both seem to be patriots. I remember a passage in a book when uh, Jim Morrison was sort of uh, not attacked but you know almost a fight with uh, some uh, Baba kind of types with short hair you know 
uh, pro-war types were uh, sort of harassing him and his long-haired friends and he just went crazy and went straight to the guy's face and screamed like I would die for this country would you and that ended the whole scenario so he 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 loved America you can see that when you read his poetry the interviews and the biographies and so on and his father was also a patriot um, now let's connect this to something else the USS Liberty which was a a navy ship, uh, basically an unarmed kind of ship in the Mediterranean, which got attacked by Israel in 1967 on June the 9th, I think, 9 of June. There's Liberty. Yeah, mm, June 8th, sorry. So, um, and that was an unprovoked attack, and um, Jim's father was very prone to act immediately and retaliate by uh, counterattacks or by economic sanctions and his orders were stopped by uh, John S. McCain which was the father of John McCain um, so you see how things connect in a strange way uh, Jim Morrison's father was an, um, a very honorable admiral but he never got promoted or um, uh, how do you say uh, went up the ranks after that because that's the way US policy is so fast forward some years later in 1971 on the 2nd of July uh, Jim's father ha held a commemoration ceremony for his ship uh, because it was um, decommissioned and uh, that was uh, 2nd of July so Jim died on July the 3rd um, which is today but he did it in the morning so it's not really clear when he did you know like 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4 a.m. so Jim Morrison died really like 12 hours um, after his father's decommission uh, ceremony and uh, both Morrisons lost something and they lost one another to each other forever. All of this is interesting because the circumstances under which Jim Morrison died are still uh, not really certain. For example, Jim's father was told he died in the hospital, you know, while he died in a bathtub. So, uh, and there was never really a, f a formal report uh, so everything was kind of rushed and uh, and uh, yeah, not really clear. Uh, so yeah, it's interesting. And um, with regards to this, you know, history is not really something we can know anything about besides the bits and pieces which are available to, for us to sort of interpret and make something uh, coherent and you know be our own judges and say you know what is possible what what might have happened and so on when you add the fact that the 60s the late 60s were very concentrated in uh, murders political murders um, strange deaths of people uh, famous people and so on uh, it makes you wonder uh, it's a weird con a weird connection all of this and uh, I think it's uh, very interesting, it was something that I didn't really know about. Of course this is all interesting because Jim's father apparently wasn't a Zionist, he wanted to retaliate like the USA does with every attack on, you know, if, if you give a uh, slap in the face to an American somewhere you're gonna get bombed basically and even if you haven't done anything and there is some interest in your country you will be invaded there will be some uh, proposed threat or super weapon you're, you're having. So yeah, I was really surprised about that. And I think both of the Morrisons were in, a, in their own way kind of uh, true to, to their gut, to their loyalty and uh, what they saw was right. It's unfortunate that they sort of broke away from one another due to the current kind of cultural uh, schisms which were going on, you know, long hair, short hair, military versus non-military people. Uh, maybe if they were, you know, hanging out 20 years later, things would have been different because, um, yeah, his father's career was impressive and, you know, 
n there's nothing one can say about Jim Morrison. He's a legend. He will be, uh, you know, as long as society exists, you will always have the reference to the Lizard King, basically. I thought this was interesting and um, I also wanted to share a bit sort of like how the doors inspired me and make this short commemoration for uh, today, which is the 3rd of July. So take care and all the best. Ciao.